Hey, welcome to... Okay, now welcome. <laughs> Sorry, I thought we were live for a second. Hey, welcome to a new thing I'm trying out. Boom Boom, he's usually with me, but he's not with me today. It's his birthday on Monday, and he's spending it with a lady friend. How dare he not talk wrestling with me and try to be with a lady friend instead on his birthday. But I'm also going to try something new. Um, if this is successful, if it gets good views, if I get better at it, um, just hitting up news. So short shows, news, kind of like what SourceFed does, except for combat sports. So this will be my first try at it. And the first thing I want to talk about is the NWA, um, new NWA World Heavyweight Champion um, from Florida Undergrounds. Uh, he wrestles all the way elsewhere too, but he's mostly known from Florida. That's um, basically his home base. Is the Tokyo Monster? I hope I'm saying that right. Kahagas, Kahagas, and um, I'm just I'm really happy about this situation because the NWA has been absolutely friggin' horrible. I'll put a link down to what happened to the title. Um, there were seven levels of hate aftermath. Um, you had Adam Pierce and Colt Cabana, um, and they refused to basically make it an NWA title match. So Adam Pierce and Colt Cabana basically crapped on the title, threw it down, Shane Douglas style. Um, and basically, the NWA is kind of like a jump start for federations, ECW, TNA, and that's what it's been used for. And there's even debates if the NWA guys really own the rights to the NWA. But uh, everything the NWA has done the last couple years has been absolutely horrible. And Cahagas is such a great guy that I hope, and he's a great wrestler too, I hope that he can bring honor and prestige and pride back into the NWA. Because I don't know how it really is done. I don't. I didn't look into it. I didn't investigate. But I'm just saying my view as a fan, and many fans share this view, is that you pay to be in the NWA. You pay to be the champion. Um, there was a really great wrestler um, that had the title recently and, and got in trouble, a Florida wrestler, the Sheik. And I remember everyone in Florida loves the Sheik. He's a very popular guy. He's the undertaker, so to speak, of, of the Florida indie scene. And everyone thinks highly of him. And I hate to say it, but when he won the NWA title, I, this is all I thought of him. I'm like, man, you don't have to pay for that. You're good enough. You don't have to pay to be NWA champion. Now, I know there's fees to pay to be part of the NWA, but I'm not really sure if you actually pay to be champion. But then again, if you're paying fees as a promoter and you become champion, ain't you kind of paying to become champion? So, um, like Adam Pierce, I've seen his name all over the internet. I've seen his matches on YouTube. I, I'm not haven't seen. I mean, I've seen him listed. But I did not know. I had to ask other wrestling fans. I thought Adam Pierce sucked. He was the NWA champion, and I never heard of him, so I just assumed he sucked and paid for the belt. Maybe that is the case. Maybe that's not. But that is the image, NWA, that your fans have of you. And I hope they had just had a tournament. Cahagas, I don't know. The NWA is not even reporting on it. I found out through Facebook through their new champion. I found out through, um, I want to make sure I get the blog, Missouri Wrestling Revival. I actually tried to see it on the NWA site. Uh -uh. So my question is, besides paying dues and being part of something that used to be great a long time ago, what's the benefit of being in the NWA? Your media sucks. You have no television. Your website isn't updated. Your champion is telling the fans he's the new champion. We have to find local wrestling blogs. And by the way, local wrestling blogs are awesome. I'm not knocking it. But if you're buying your way into the NWA name, if you are a promoter and you want to be part of the NWA, what the hell do you get with it? It just seems like the NWA, and it's been seen this way for a very long time, it's it's like a pyramid scheme. Um, one guy somehow rustles way up to the top. There's always a new president every now and then. <laughs> he gets to the top. He's like, I bought this crap. Now you have to buy into this crap. And then the wrestlers are like, well, I bought into this. The promoters go to the wrestlers. I bought into this crap. You have to buy into this crap. And then the wrestlers are like, oh, I'm the NWA World Champion. I bought into this crap. 
promoters outside of the NWA, you have to buy into this crap. And it just seems like a really big pyramid scheme. And it breaks my heart, because when I was a little kid, I was a huge NWA fan. I just don't know what the benefit is. There's people out on the internet that says they don't even own the rights to NWA. And basically, anytime the NWA makes national news, or, you know, national news as far as wrestling goes, it's always someone shitting on the belt. It's always a company that drops it. It's all, you know, it seems like it's there. So, uh, I, I don't want to see the NWA die, but I also don't want to see a bunch of scam artists. Like, um, the promo one of the promoters is um, Dante Brown from Florida Underground Wrestling. I've only met him a couple times. Um, he's working basically the same circuit that I used to work back when I was a promoter. So, um, you know, I left. A lot of shitheads fucking failed miserably, and then he took over, and from what I read, he's having success. And the couple times I've met him, nothing but respect. I mean... He was a nice guy to me, and he didn't have to be. He's like, ah, oh, that's some fat internet loser that used to run shows. So Dante Brown was always cool and respectful to me. And I always rooted somewhat for Florida Underground Wrestling, because that's a beautiful name. Uh, for this goes out to one person. Ralph Mosca, you're a dick. Anyway, Florida Underground Wrestling, I always was rooting for it. But I read a you know press release fr from Florida Underground Wrestling, that they joined the NWA, and the only thing I could think of was, oh, I'm sorry, Dante, come on. I'm sorry, Mr. Brown. Don't fucking do that, bro. Anytime I go to an indie event and I see the word NWA, I just assume the promoters are fucking morons. I mean, and I could be completely wrong, but I'm not the only one who sees it like this. I'm not the only fan that goes, Oh, there's the NWA champ. He paid for it. Like, the Sheik, great wrestler. Everyone in Florida looks up to him. And that's all I thought about. Like, wow, Sheik, you really had to pay for that belt? I thought him winning 0-1 in Japan was a way bigger accomplishment. And these fucking idiots in Japan, I live in Japan, by the way, they think the NWA still means something. It means nothing. And they have to change their way of thinking. NWA, your way of thinking is, we're a big company, you got to pay to be in us, and that's an honor. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Fans don't even see that shit. You see a promotion, NWA something something. NWA something something. You know, like NWA Wildside. That wasn't NWA Wildside, that was just fucking Wildside. NWA Hollywood. That was just fucking Hollywood. And you know what's funny? When fucking these promotions start becoming bigger, they open their eyes and they're like, why the fuck do we need to pay you dues? This is the dumbest fucking thing ever. And my whole thing is, I I'm going to tell you, I, I hope Cahagas, I'm going to tell you how to fix that anyway, at least in my opinion. All right, or try to improve it because there it can't get worse. I, I mean, you can make fun of WWE, you can make fun of TNA, but... Dude, they look like goddamn geniuses compared to the NWA. You Right now they have a new world champion. As I went into the show recording it, they did not have that up on their website. What the fuck? You can pay a webmaster. You can pay a fat kid $20, $40, let him interview some of his favorite goddamn divas. Like, oh, baby, what's it like to be in wrestling? Give him a free fucking hot dog and bam, he'll be updated in seconds. How the fuck uh, did how the fuck is Cahagas your world champion, the one breaking the goddamn news? What the fuck is the point of the NWA? You need to get better at media. Alright? You just fucking need to get better at media. I don't mean to be a dick, but you know, when there's a new NWA champion, you know, you're the ones that should break that. You're the ones who should have television. You're the ones, you know, everyone's bringing everything to you and paying you for it. I'm missing it. And, you know, maybe I'm completely wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I am wrong. But guess what? I am not the only asshole who thinks like this. There are millions of people, when they hear the name NWA, they think Money Mark Promoter. When they hear NWA Champ, they're like, oh, Fuck, he paid for that belt. That's what they think. Could we be wrong? Yes, we could be. 
But that's your fucking image. And I don't understand what you bring to the table, NWA. There are people that loved what the NWA was. Uh, I'm, I'm, if I mispronounce his name, I'm sorry. Bill Barron's. He loved what the NWA was. He tried his hardest to make it something good. All right? There are people that did good stuff, okay? But you're basically a fucking pyramid scheme. Stop. First thing you need to do is get some type of national television. I'm saying even fucking YouTube. Get a show together. Patch these goddamn matches up. Get fucking earn your goddamn money. Second, your site should be breaking the goddamn news. The fuck, I, you know, and I'm, again, I'm not making Missouri Wrestling Revival. Should it be where I go to fucking see who's the new world champion? And I'd even go there first. Gahagas, your goddamn champion is your media. So this asshole has to have five star matches. This guy has to carry your belt around. This guy has to tour the country. This guy has to get underpaid. And he has to do his own goddamn PR. NWA, for love of God, do something. All right? Hire a social media expert. Hire someone that's good at editing videos. Put a YouTube thing together. There is Vendetta Pro Wrestling. There is Hollywood out of NWA. There are, you know, I did Combat TV on the smallest of fucking budgets. Okay, smallest of No budgets. Nothing. And fucking people saw the matches. What the fuck? Dude. Good webmaster, good media guy, fucking start doing something. All right, Cahagas, and now as far as storylines goes, let's get away from NWA's worth, let's fix that. No one respects the NWA champion. I mean, I don't know, I'm actually going to start watching some of your old NWA champions now because I just assume they sucked. I have no idea who the hell's the guy that fucking lost to Colt Cabana. I'm sorry, I thought I missed his name. Pierce. I have no idea if Pierce is good. I just assumed he sucked because he was the NWA world champion. That's a problem, NWA. At least I know Cahagas is a good wrestler. What you need to do is start fucking being a promotion, not just a goddamn con artist who sells fucking initials. All right? You need to start helping promote these motherfuckers. And storyline-wise, your title is shit. No one gives a fuck about your title. Cahagas came in, don't do what the Sheik did. Don't do what you did to Craig Classic, where I pay 500 bucks a month because I'm a promoter and I want my guy. Don't fucking do it. Let Cahagas have a long title run. That's your only hope. If Cahagas loses this in a controversial fashion, if Cahagas loses this and the internet finds out that NWA fucking Northwest, Southeast fucking bumblefuck promoter was pissed and paid a lot of money, no. No, just stop. Cahagas needs a long title run, and you need to get your shit together. And if that's not going to happen, just close up shop. And if, th and then if that's not going to happen... Promoters, wrestlers, if my suggestion of NWA doing something media-wise and it, having a respectable champion have a long title run, and these demands, fuck it, if these demands are not met, you are a dumb, 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 dumb motherfucker for letting it happen. I'm sorry, you're just a dumb bastard. If you buy into the NWA, and I know it meant so much, and they don't do anything for your promotion, pack it up. Who gives a shit? Really. I mean, you you having NWA on your promotion just tells the crowd you're a money mark. That's it. That's all it does. And the title, yeah, it really meant a lot. I'm not going to lie to you. It meant a lot. And it can mean a lot again. You have to be careful how you book Cahagas. Cahagas better go to all these goddamn NWAs. He better have a long title run. And you better fucking, we better be able to hear about it. You know, if I wasn't friends with Cahagas on Facebook, fuck, I would not know. I probably would never know. Uh, there was plenty of times if you came up to me like, who's the NWA champ? I'd be like, I don't know. Who's paying for it? I have no fucking idea who the NWA champ is. I am just happen to be able to be lucky enough to have been in Florida, worked with Cahagas, know who Cahagas is, be on his Facebook friends. That's how I found out. 
that's how I found out. I'm hoping that, you know, people agree with me, and especially the higher-ups. The fans, you know, they don't give a shit about NWA. The only fans that give a shit about NWA are people older than me, and I'm old as fuck. No one, no one in the demographic of where wrestling is, the cool, popular kids, no one gives a shit about the NWA. All right? If you're older than me, yeah, I understand. It was special, but it's not now. It's a pyramid scheme. And it can, you can change that. And what I'm saying could be completely wrong. I'm not saying this is factual. What I'm saying could be completely wrong. But that's what everyone thinks. All right, let me get it. Here's a Facebook comment. I won't, I won't say his full name because I don't know if he wants his full name to be read on this. I, like I'm a huge star or something. But um, this is from Michael. What is the NWA? This is a new generation, and what the NWA stood for is no longer in existence. They leech off talent of the of other promotions and have no identity of their own. By the way, no slight to Cahagas. He is a solid worker with uh, wonderful ring skills, and he deserves to be champ. But NWA doesn't have the clout it once had. NWA is dead, and he's not the only one beating this drum. The talent that NWA presents are not included in this commentary. One can make the argument that they go hand in hand. In all sincerity, the wrestlers are the only things, I'm sorry, I'm blind as a bat, who in their best efforts are keeping the NWA alive. It is commendable that they believe in tradition and want to associate themselves with the bloodline that has been a part of wrestling for nearly a century. Regrettably, it has died and and lay in a vegetable state, and the current workers are the only thing keeping them on life support. Though it may be contradictory, congrats to Cahagas for being recognized and honoring his craft so well. The one thing that cannot be denied are the talents of the, of the wrestlers, and Tokyo Monster is deserving of that respect. Deserving and respected. So I apologize if I stuttered that a lot. I'm really blind as a bat. i got to get better glasses. But I'm not the only one, and Michael, he said this, great. And... It's just, man. But it can be saved. How it needs to be saved? G media guy. You need a media guy. Social media. YouTube. Website. You need to improve that. You need to... Everyone and their mother should know who the NWA champion is. And if not, you're not doing your job. And for the love of God, I'm going to leave with this. Don't fuck over Cahagas. It's going to happen because, God forbid, an NWA champion has a long title run and doesn't get fucked over somehow. All right. Um, so this has been news. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to do more shows, and when Boom Boom comes back, we'll do longer ones, but I'll just hit one topic like this more often. And with that, I am over. <laughs>